Belarus's Mazir oil refinery workers panicking over Ukrainian drones. The latest wave of Ukraine drone attacks on the Russian refinery system is likely to have a more meaningful impact on Russian refinery production than the ones in January and February. Since then, there has been another flurry of drone attacks across a further five refining sites, resulting in primary processing capacity outages and lower refined product exports. The recent wave of Ukraine drone attacks on Russian refinery infrastructure has been focused on primary processing capacity and is expected to have a more substantial impact than the attacks earlier this year. In this condition, Russia may use Belarus's Mazir oil refinery. But the wife of a Mazir refinery worker told Charter 97, media outlet, that the plant workers are panicking about a possible drone attack on the plant. Dejection, insomnia. I've been living with these feelings for the last week. My husband works at the Mazir oil refinery. The company's workers are afraid that a drone may also fly to them. There is nowhere to leave the plant, since none of the other institutions can compete in salaries with our city forming enterprise. At the plant, among close colleagues, everyone is just discussing this topic, what to do, how to deal with the situation, she added. I myself monitor situations through independent websites and telegram channels. Every day I ask my husband what is new, but the plant management says nothing. People go to work silently, scared. I am afraid that my children will become orphans because of political games. With the outbreak of the war, our city turned into some kind of unpredictable volcano. Either we are treating the wounded or gathering them for training camps, or there is military equipment that is scary to approach because they will immediately mark you as a terrorist. We have actually been living in the frontline zone for two years now, and now we are still waiting for the drones to arrive. If you think about it, the Ukrainians have an absolute right to attack our plant as a source of fuel for a war against a neighboring country, she said. France raises terrorism threat level threat of the Islamic State is rising again. France has raised the terrorism alert level across the country following an attack on a packed music venue in Russia which left 137 people dead. Last Friday, four Tajik nationals opened fire inside the Crocus City Hall outside Moscow and set the building on fire. All terrorists were later detained while attempting to flee by car to Ukraine, according to President Vladimir Putin. The jihadist group Islamic State Khorasan province claimed responsibility for the attack. Moscow has so far not confirmed the group's involvement. Following the attack in Moscow, the French president has convened a meeting of the National Defense and Security Council this evening. French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal wrote on X, in light of the Islamic State's claim that it was responsible for the attack and the threats looming over our country, we have decided to raise the Vidi Pirate plan to the highest level, the Prime Minister added. France has been living under reinforced security measures since the series of terrorist attacks in January 2015, when a group of Islamists killed 17 people in Paris and its suburbs. The government responded by enacting Operation Sentinel, which saw the deployment of armed soldiers to patrol the French capital. One of the deadliest Islamist attacks in recent memory came in November 2015, when suicide bombers and gunmen killed 130 people in Paris. For many, the horrors of Islamic State ended when US-led military campaign collapsed the group's self-styled caliphate in 2019. But five years later, tens of thousands of civilians are still being kept in camps, including the al hol which are filled with the families of Islamic State militants and others inadvertently swept up in the chaos of northeast Syria. In front of the Crocus City Hall shopping center, where the terrorist incident took place in the Moscow region of Russia, the memory of those who died in the incident was commemorated. During the action called Cranes, thousands of people gathered in front of the shopping center, lit candles, and observed a minute of silence, flowers and children's toys were piled in front of the concert hall where the terrorist attack took place. Cranes action was held in memory of the dead in different cities of Russia. Images of the actions were shown on the screen installed in front of Crocus City Hall, but it should be noted that on March 22, more than 130 people were killed and more than 150 were injured during the terrorist attack that took place in the Crocus City Hall shopping center. As a result of the fire, the concert hall where the incident took place collapsed, 